Hello everyone, this is Eric from Pro Tools Expert, and I'm back with part two of my two-part review of the tune track Roots SDX, an expansion for Superior Drummer. Now as I mentioned in part one, Roots requires that you have Superior Drummer version 2.3 or higher. I mentioned that in part one, but I didn't really go into what's new in version 2.3 that makes it necessary to use. There are three features that are new to version 2.3 of Superior Drummer that I'd like to point out. The first one works with symbols, and it's a new articulation. We now have a dedicated articulation to control the mute tail. If you look at the mapping here, so in addition to the familiar playing type articulations that we have, we can now separately control the mute tail uh, of a choke symbol. And that can be very handy. And because it is mappable, or it is mapped actually in, in the presets in the kit here, we have the ability to use either aftertouch or just the note off information to trigger the crossfade from the initial strike of the symbol to the choke and the, uh, the tail of the choke. So that's pretty cool. The next one is also related to symbols. And that is the multiple hit emulation, which is the variable knob here, really helps to eliminate that machine gun effect. Now I know we've had just through round robin sampling and other techniques that are used in most drum sampling tools, uh, but this is something that takes that a step further and uh, it's pretty cool. And finally, the third thing that I wanna mention is related to the use of brushes particularly swirls, which is really appropriate here on the brushes, rods, and mallets set, and with the uh, jazz grooves that we're gonna be looking at. You can see here the mappings that in addition to the normal mappings that we're familiar with, TuneTrack has added forward, backward swirl, and then we add the forward and backward brush triggers and brush mute. Uh, all these things just mean that we can have a lot more control and we can do tempo independent brush strokes in our drumming and makes for really very realistic uh, brush jazz drum sounds. So uh, I'll be playing a couple of those. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's take a look at some of the sounds of the brushes, rods, and mallets in Roots. So now as I did in part one, I'm going to use the built-in producer combined presets to give you an idea of the range and depth of sounds available in this package. So let's look. Now, these were developed by Chris Granger. Chris was the engineer on the project and uh, the producer as well. So let's start first with the clean and dirty preset. Now we mentioned briefly in part one, combined presets in Superior Drummer allow you to store the drum pieces, all these different things, and I am gonna accept them all. One of the cool things though about a combined preset is that we can get the bleed levels or get the mixer settings and whatnot from a preset while keeping our selection of drums or something intact. We don't have to change everything when we load a combined preset. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature, but anyway, That'll be the last time I mention that. In the all cases here, I'm gonna load the entire preset. So I'm gonna to listen to the producer's selection of drums and whatnot, although I'll make a few changes because some of the grooves I wanna use, for instance, call for extra symbols that uh, were not in the preset as it was saved. So anyway, let's move forward. Okay, and as I said, the symbols went ghosted on me here. So I'm gonna put them back on. I also, want to make sure that we're using the brushes here. And here under tool settings is where, when they're available, we have, in this case, the drumsticks option. So my brushes, my rods, or my mallets. I can pick from the three of those. And in part one, I didn't mention this, but uh, with a lot of these, we have the option of picking a felt or plastic beater on the bass drum. And I can also turn off the bottom snares. So this offers even more versatility than what I may have covered in, in the, the first part. But here we're gonna pick brushes. 
So we're done with that. And let's go over here into the grooves. I'm going to pick the, uh, let's see, the big band. Let's go down here to, uh, let's try this one as a good place to start. Okay, let's move on. The Decca Room. In part one, I mentioned that this was recorded with a Decca tree. Uh, left, center, and right uh, array of microphones uh, in a particular arrangement. Uh, oft times used with uh, orchestras and whatnot, but in this case, uh, they had a nice large room. They were able to do this. And uh, for this, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to demonstrate the swirls. And so let me make sure that first we'll load all that stuff up. We'll add our symbols back again just to make sure. We'll make sure we're on brushes. Okay, that's good. Now here in the grooves, we have a specific section of swirls. And I'm going to go to the uh, mellow. I'll pick this variation, uh, maybe this one, okay, because this plays the whole kit. All right. Move on to the next one. Destroyed. Well, we can kind of guess what this is going to sound like. I'm going to actually have to turn down the internal volume on this in order to avoid uh, internal clipping. Uh, going to use something a little different here. Going to demonstrate the. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go to this one. We use the funk. We'll use this one, and let's go back here and again, at least enable a crash symbol. Well, let's go ahead and enable the others. Oops, that one's not available. Okay, and we're loading samples. This is a pretty large kit, but uh, this is a very interesting sound. And here we go. Okay, so that's, like I said, something entirely different. I'm going to uh, give you your first preview of the mallets with the next one. So let's go over here. Let's pick the drummer's seat. Let's go to load it up. Let's go over to the grooves. And let's pick this time back to the swing. And... Let's see, I'm going to use the, uh, uh, let me pick rudiments, uh, and I'm going to use this variation. And again, let's go back. I said we're going to use mallets, didn't I? All right, let's do that. So here's mallets. While we're at it, 
Let's do the same thing with the rods. Okay, pretty cool. Now, Elvin Supreme, Elvin Jones, and you may have seen an Elvin Jones signature snare drum is one of the uh, choices of snare drum here uh, in the Sticks collection. Now, interestingly, that's not what they used when they did the brushes, but nonetheless, they have a preset for the Elvin Jones, uh, Elvin Supreme. I'm gonna pick brushes, and I'm going to pick the swing groove again, but back to this. All right, now, again, some of these things, some of the comments that were written in uh, from part one were about the sound. And some of these grooves, this is really light touch playing. So you might have to turn it up or put the headphones on or listen with a good set of monitors to hear the subtleties here, but really does have uh, excellent sound, uh, real long tails on uh, the cymbals, for instance, and the drums when they ring out. So uh, like all that. All right, let's pick another one. Let's move down the line here. Load that up. And set this on brushes as well. And let's use, let's just stick with that same groove. So let's get our symbols on here. Oh, again, second ride not available. Or second crash not available, sorry. All right, we're almost loaded. Okay, bear with me. All right, very interesting preset here called Pitched Up. And you can kind of guess what might be the case here. Again, I'm gonna go with rods on this for demonstration purposes and adjust this just a little bit again. And let's use that same groove Let's listen to that same kit with a little more driving uh, playing. Now, I don't have a hip hop groove, groove handy, but this takes you in that direction. A little funk.
love it. All right. And let's go to the last one of the presets here. Small space. And I'm going to do brushes first. And let's listen to that. Oh, let me turn the symbols on. In this case, I do have two crashes and two rides. Okay. So what's my conclusion? Well, this excellent collection of meticulously sampled drums and cymbals, played with sticks, brushes, rods, and mallets, with numerous available articulations, 23 input channels on the mixer, seven of those are stereo pairs, I give this a big thumbs up. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you real soon.